Hey, welcome to another Toolbox Talk. My name is Shane, and obviously we're not at a toolbox. We're on a little bit of a field trip today, but we are gonna be reviewing a pretty awesome tool from Ryobi. Again, it'll be available on Amazon, link in the description, but stay to the end, because I've got an awesome deal that Amazon has given to me to give to you. So stay to the end so you can check out that awesome deal. All right, the tool we're gonna check out today is in the four-wheeler under the seat. Let's go grab it. All right, guys, you guessed it, a battery powered 40 volt chainsaw. All right, let's go check this out and try and cut some wood. All right, guys, so before we get going, obviously the whole electric versus gas car debate has been going on for a while. You know, regardless of how you feel about it, I think it really comes down to a use case, whether you're looking at a battery powered saw or a gas powered saw or an electric car, whatever it may be, right? I think each thing, each vehicle or saw or whatever it is, each tool has its own use case, right? So for cutting up this big pile of wood here, obviously you're not gonna do the whole pile of wood with one battery in this electric saw, right? You're gonna need, you're gonna need a gas saw and then probably several tanks of gas, which is nice because you can fill the gas up quickly. But that's really not what this saw is for. What I wanted to tell you about what this saw is for is, let's say you're a homeowner and you're just pruning trees around the house. Let's say you've just got one or two trees that fall and you don't heat your, your house with wood or anything. This saw is gonna be perfect for you. Another use case, let's say you're out in your four wheeler, out on the trails or on a snowmobile. And let's say that you come across the down tree and all you're doing is you just wanna chunk it up and get it out of the trail. You know, this is gonna be absolutely perfect for you. There's no maintenance, no gas, no spark plugs, no other gas, pre-mixed gas you gotta carry with you. This is, make sure the battery's charged, throw it in your rig. They even, this will even fit right in the chainsaw holders that you can mount to the outside. You don't have to keep it under your seat if you don't want to. But again, if you do, you won't even have the gas fumes coming up into the cab of your, your side-by-side -side, or your truck or your car. This doesn't have to be in the bed of the truck. You can keep this in the cab of a truck if you had to for just a quick cut. So that being said, I think there's a big misconception about what the battery powered tools are for. I think you really have to be honest with yourself and think about what are you going to be using it for and how, how often are you going to be using it? All right, rant is over. Let's get do a couple cuts with this and then we'll get inside and we'll check it out up close. So obviously these logs aren't saplings. These are like, you know, four, six inches across maybe. The bar on this is about 14 inches. And uh, uh, here we'll do a couple quick cuts, show you, what it, show you what it's capable of, and then we'll go from there. I mean, what more do you need for just cutting up a log that's falling across the trail or in your yard? And again, no pull start in, oh, it won't start. Oh, I don't have any gas or oil. Guys, get one of these, order it right now. You won't be disappointed. We've got your traditional gas powered saw here. And what I wanted to show you real quick is I'll put these side by side, how long it takes me just to get this thing started versus how many cuts I did over here. All right, if it'll even start, because this thing's been sitting for months. Oh. Wait, it didn't do it. Chain's dull on this thing. I hate it. Okay. 
here we are back on the workbench. I just wanted to show you a couple key features here. So just like every other chainsaw, you got two nuts that hold the bar on. Two nuts, chain tensioner here. Um, fill up the oil right here, take that off. Um, this actually isn't a stop here. The, the, the only safety is pull that and then hit the trigger. Again, we can run it inside, no gas fumes, right? Um, the battery, it does come with the battery and the charger. If you click the link that I put in there, slides right out. Just want to show you again, gives you the, how much it's charged. So you'll know before you head out with it, right? Super handy, snaps right in. And then last is the tool itself. Oop, there's that. The tool itself comes with the little hex for the adjuster and, and a little flat for the adjuster there and super convenient. All right, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around for that video. Again, my name is Shane. I'm in the Amazon Associates program. So definitely check out my links down there. And uh, if you purchase anything through my Amazon link in the description, it really helps this channel out. I earn a small commission, but I'm, I'm really only putting products out there that I have used, that I have full faith in. So if you got value out of this, like, subscribe, share this with somebody else you think will get value. And uh, it's a beautiful day. I think I'm going to go for a ride. Thanks. Whoa, guys, almost forgot. Amazon's given me a code to give to you guys for a 30-day free trial of Amazon Prime. So definitely go check that out. You get free shipping, you know, all, all this other good stuff. They've let me pass that on to you. Try it. In, the link is in the description down below. So go hit that, sign up for your free trial, you know, get some free shipping. Cancel anytime, so no obligations. All right, let's go. Thanks, guys.